All right, back here with you. So we've got our fuse holders soldered in pretty good here. I'll make sure I don't have any cold solder joints. And everything looks good. I referred to some photos up here on our TV from the camera and made sure I got all the wiring and everything correctly uh, done. So now it's just a matter of, uh, you know, flipping the unit back over, putting a fuse uh, panel, uh, fuses uh, in and turn those on, turn, twist, twist those in there supplying power, DC power to the both sides. And again I notice amp work. It should work. But just to be safe, <clears throat> that I haven't jarred anything loose or nothing dropped down inside I went through and and actually went through it with a uh, pressure hose and uh, air hose and blew everything out there. But let me show you another little tip that's kinda cool. I probably uh, co up uploaded this a video with this. This is a Variac. It's a variable voltage transformer. Really cool. Old timey as can be. Uh, they're still in it. <laughs> they still actually make something similar, but it basically has a rotating transformer inside. You can turn this, and as you turn this, the voltage goes up. So in an amplifier like this, if you think there's going to be a problem and you start seeing heat or you know any type of smoke or signs of stress, you start out very low and turn this thing up very slowly. And as the voltage starts getting up to 50 or 60 or 80 or so, it's probably going to be fine. So I'll take it real slow when we test test drive this thing. I'm going to do that in just a minute here. Um, I will power this up that way instead of just flicking the power on and turning the power on straight at, at one time. So, all right. So when we come back here, I'll have my fuses, fuses mounted. I'll have the front back on it, and we'll be ready to fire this puppy up. So stay tuned.